Oh, I didn't see you there. Hey, this is Alex Becker, and I have a question for you. Have you ever wanted to make money online? Well, guess what? Today in a series of videos, I'm going to show you how to make money online, even if you're a lazy sack of <laughs> It's going to be fantastic. Stay tuned. Damn guys, you see that? We got props, we got a new intro with the production level on this channel is getting close to a J.J. Abrams movie. You're welcome. <laughs> Without further ado though, what I'm gonna get into in this next series of videos is just practical step-by-step -step ways you can make money online. Now, I wanna give a quick intro before I get into the first tactic. It's straight up A to B, you can just use it right now. It's the easiest thing in the entire world even if you're a beginner. But I want to make one thing really fucking clear, all right? I use quotation marks when I say online because I'm sure you guys have seen this crap everywhere. Some uh, YouTube channel or ad you see with some guy on like a beach or whatever saying, I used to be broke. Now I travel around the world all day long making passive income from my computer by doing absolutely fucking nothing. And if you pay me money, I will show you how to do that too. You too could be a lazy sack of shit like me. Come now. Join now. All right, and I'm sure you guys have seen that all before and stuff like that. And I, I wanna make one thing abundantly clear. What I'm gonna show you in these videos has no catch. I'm just gonna show you point A, point B, what to do. Because a lot of my videos, I'm giving you a lot of big advice, like broad stuff to put into your head and stuff like that. But I also wanna give you a share of practical, straightforward, actionable advice that you can use from this channel. As well as post video game videos, as well as post mean comment videos, just whatever the fuck I wanna put in this channel. It's whatever I wanna put up there. And today I feel like putting up practical advice. Now you're probably wondering why I'm doing this. I'm going to be straight fucking forward with you. I do have the AB Academy. That's just a little academy that I use. Uh, people want to get more stuff from me. But what I want to do with this channel and what I want to be known for is I don't want to be some make money online guru. I don't want that shit. I don't want to scale business like that. I don't want to be known for that. There's nothing wrong about that if that's your business plan or anything like that. But I don't want to do that because I don't fucking need to do it. I have software companies that I'm building that I want to get to huge levels. And I want to be known as the guy who builds really cool fucking businesses that people want to be a part of, like Tesla and stuff like that. I'm not building like a Tesla right now. But I want to build stuff like that. And I also want to be known as the guy that just gives so much crazy levels of value that you just have to go and shout it down the street because it's so awesome. All right, So I want to be that type of entrepreneur and I just want to give you as much as I can uh, I just want to give you everything for free because uh, there's no real incentive for me to really hoard it, okay? Um, that's it. So that's where I'm coming from with this. I don't want to be some make money online guru. I don't want to be known for helping people to make money online. I want to be known as the guy who builds incredible $100 million businesses and it just tells everybody how he did it because he already made $100 million. That's, that's who I want to be. So what I'm going to get into in these videos is stuff I don't personally do, all right? The stuff I do, you can't do. Uh, you can do it, but if you're just starting off, it's highly unlikely that you're going to hire a team of developers costing you tens of thousands of dollars a month and build software and run paid advertising. That's what I do. You can't do that. Nobody wants to learn how to do it because it's expensive. I want to show you stuff you can do as a complete beginner to go out there and make money. Okay? This is stuff I've seen that works. This is stuff uh, that I've taught people that works. And this is just stuff that just plain out straight works. It's not stuff I'm doing every single day because my goal isn't to make $100 a day. Uh, I want to make $50,000 a day. That's my goal. That's where I'm headed. But I know a lot of you watching this channel want to make 10 bucks a day, 25 bucks a day, 100 bucks a day. That's what I'm going to show you to do. Cool? All right. So this first item I'm going to get into is an SEO-based tactic that doesn't require you to know any SEO whatsoever. If you are a single mom, you're a six-year-old man, you're a 12-year-old kid, and I hope I'm not making videos for 12-year-olds, that's creepy, but whatever age range situation you fall in, you can do this. It doesn't cost hardly any money to start, and you don't need any experience whatsoever. Uh, you don't need to buy anything from me. I'm just going to show you how it works. So we're going to hop on my computer right now, and I'm going to break down this entire strategy to you right now. If you like these strategies, go pick up my book, The Ten Pillars of Wealth. I make like a dollar every time you buy these, but I want to get the sound to the world, so go do it, and that's what I got. Be sure to subscribe and like and share this channel with all your friends too because I'm sure they'll be amused by the guy in the stormtrooper costume cussing at people and teaching people how to make money online. Why do people watch this channel? Anyways, let's get into the, let's get into the training. Okay, Secret Squirrel Buddies, what's going on? Welcome inside my computer. It's nice here and we have cookies every Monday uh, but you're not invited. Okay, so uh, if you can get over that, I'm going to show you in these videos some very, very simple 
tactics. And there's other videos on this channel that you can find. They're 100% free to, to, this video also builds off of. For example, what I'm gonna show you in these videos, if you don't know how to build a website, I show you to build a website uh, in the video on this channel. Uh, if you don't know the basics of SEO or how SEO works, there's a video covering the basics of SEO. Uh, so there you go. But what I'm gonna show you in this video, even if you've never seen any of those videos, even if you've never seen them before, is really going to lay out just how simple it can be to start a business online. Now, like I said before, I don't do this stuff personally. This is stuff that I know that works, that I've seen other people doing, and I've done and mimic myself just to show people you can do it. Uh, I like building software companies and so forth. But this is something, if you don't know anything, you can go do this right now. If you can copy and paste and put up a basic WordPress site, which anybody can. If you can't do it, you have no business trying to make money. You should just go and dig through people's trash cans and make like a fort out of trash and just live there. You'd be better off. That would actually take more effort than what I'm about to show you. So this is a basic SEO tactic and what it involves and what you're going to need is a copy and paste tool. You're going to need access to the internet. You're going to need a computer and you're going to need about 20 to $30. That's it. Okay. Now what you're about to see here you can easily turn into a site that makes you 200 to to $1,000 per month. If you expand on this, uh, I have a friend, actually I mentioned that 15 year old who makes like a thousand bucks a day. I mentioned him in like one other video. Uh, he does this, but like in a super huge, much, much, much larger scale, uh, like millions and millions of pages. This is just stuff you can do starting off. So uh, this is also scalable. If you want to go and take this to the moon, you can also dig down this route some more. But at the very beginning of this, if you were even a squirrel, you can go and do this right now. I'm going to show you the simple this. So what you see right here, if you go and type in College Station Rhinoplasty, Frisco Rhinoplasty, uh, Lubbock Rhinoplasty, these are, uh, this is what a nose job is, okay? And so basically if someone types in College Station Rhinoplasty and they click on these sites, obviously they're looking uh, to hire a rhinoplasty surgeon to fix their face. Duh, okay? Now a rhinoplasty surgery costs about $5,000. Now, this doesn't have to be rhinoplasty either. This is just an example I need to use because I know a lot about the surgical niche uh, as a whole, and it's, it's probably the best niche to go after when you're getting into SEO just because of how high-paying the client's going to be. But that's besides the point. What I'm going to get into right here is if you see this site showing up first for all these terms, uh, it's called mypeaksue.com, and you're like, what What the hell is that? Is this like a peekaboo-themed website on here? So... We came to the conclusion before that if people are coming through and typing in College Station Rhinoplasty, if they land on one of these sites, they hire the surgeon. The surgeon can stand to make quite a lot of money by having a number one uh, search term right here. Okay, if they get like three clients a year, it just made them an extra $12,000. If they get like 10 clients a year, you can do the math of rhinoplasty surgery. It's anywhere from like three to $4,000 give or take, depends on the surgeon and whatever. So if you click on these sites, you will see my site right here, which is literally a copy and paste website. It's the basic WordPress theme. Uh, this takes about 30 seconds to put on. And then what I did is I went and typed in uh, Rhino, Rhino, not Rihanna. <laughs> don't wanna, I don't wanna hear the work song right now, right? But we're gonna type in Rhinoplasty articles, okay? And what I did is I went to one of these sites right here, and if you know anything about SEO, you're like, oh, well, he, he went and spun the content. No, I didn't even do that, okay? I just went and copy and pasted an article, uh, put it on the site, and then what I did is I cloned the pages out. And to do that in WordPress, uh, you go in, and I'm not gonna talk about how to build pages in this video. If you wanna see how to build a WordPress site and an HTML site, uh, there's a link in the description, and I'll put a link right here uh, that will cover those very basic details. I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to re- iterate the entire video okay so learn how to do that first it's super easy again it's 100 percent for free just chill out and so what you're going to do is you're going to go on that site and you just want to go and find suburbs in towns in the united states this also works if you're in europe this also works wherever the hell you are if there are businesses that like customers and you have google in your local area you can do this it's probably a lot easier outside of america because people aren't as seo savvy it's not because they're like dumb or anything it's just like seo is not isn't caught on over there like it has here in the states so go and find states okay you know those big things that people live on in the map that donald trump and hillary clinton are fighting over right now okay so what you're then going to do is find towns and suburbs don't go after the cities just find towns and suburbs like bryan texas college station texas lubbock frisco allen uh etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so we're going to go and make all these pages on this site. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste the article 
uh, into the pages themselves. And what you're going to do is you're going to get the keyword Rhinoplasty College Station in the title of the page, the URL, and I believe uh, you want to get it loosely in the content. That's all you're going to do. All right. If you don't know anything about SEO, just this is it. You make the title of the article College Station Rhinoplasty. You put in H1 text Rhinoplasty College Station. You put in Rhinoplasty in here, or you just copy and paste an article. That's it. Okay. If you can do that and just go and make a page, copy and paste, make a page, copy and paste. There's also plugins you can use to do this. I'm not even going to get into that. We don't even need to do that. Okay. You can just copy and paste pages to do this. Now, what you then do, uh, we're going to go back and take a step back. Before we make the site, what we're going to do is you're going to go to any place you want online. All right. The place I use to get domains, basically everyone in SU uses to get domains. Uh, I think, I don't know. It's called Source Market. I own this. Chillax. I, these are other people that you're buying from. I'm not making like a profit. I make 5% of every single sale in Source Market. It's just this is where most of the best PBN buyers are. Okay. So, uh, all right. So, there you go. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go find one of these dudes on here. I don't care who you buy from. Uh, I would suggest Gregory Ortiz. And, ooh, we just had this new star thing. So, it's like, whoa. All right. So, anyways. I would suggest going to Gregory Ortiz right here. Uh, he has really good PBNs and really good uh, high metric sites. So what we're going to do, let's imagine we just go to this guy for the sake of this. Okay. So what he's going to do, and I'm, I'm not going to explain the core principles of SEO because there's another video I'll link in the description that explains that as well. Um, but you can see he's very excited to be here. Either that or he's ejaculating in his pants. Have you ever seen that music video? It's funny. Um, anyways, couldn't have a video without a masturbation joke. Way to go, Alex. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to get one of these PBN domains. And if you know nothing about SEO, just know they have this thing called trust flow, and it's high, and they have this thing called domain authority, which is high, okay? And what that means is essentially how much Google trusts the site and how much power Google has given the site. That's not the whole nitty-gritty of it, but that's all you need to know, Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna buy one of these domains from any of these dudes. Okay, this one has metrics that work just fine. Okay, I got this site, my peak sue, uh, from the same people on this site right here. Now, I know my start fist is almost full. We're, we'll be okay. So, and we're gonna get a domain from one of these guys. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna build one of the sites we just talked about. If my page will load up, apparently I blew up my peak sue. But we're gonna build. Our site on top of one of these sites because it already has these metrics that Google naturally looks at and gives higher rankings to sites. Okay, if a site has a high trust flow and domain authority, it's naturally going to start showing up a little bit higher than sites that don't. Now, these searches right here are extremely uncompetitive. These are not world-winning competitive SEO searches, and we don't need that. Okay, like I said before, if a surgeon is able to go and get two to three to four extra clients an entire year, he's made sixteen thousand dollars or whatever, so he could easily rent this page to him for 50 to $100. I'll get into that here in a second. So anyways, we go and build that site on top of these sites right here. And naturally, it just starts to float up and rank because no one else is doing SEO for these terms. That's it. Really, that, that's it. We're done. <laughs> that's all it is. You just put it on there and you can do a ton of these every single day if you want, or you can do one, or you can do none at all. It's up to you. I'm not, I don't give a shit what you do. It's for you to decide. Choose your own future. So what you can then do is you just wait for these to go out and rank. And if you choose a bunch of suburbs, what I would do instead of like choosing five suburbs, get a list of 100 and make 100 pages on your site. And then what you do is just wait for them to show up and rank. That's it. It should take like a week or two. You're done. Okay. So then what you do is you go and find local practices in these local areas that would like clients. Okay, rhinoplasty surgeons like clients. Everyone likes clients. Even people that uh, do clean toilets, and actually plumbing is a really good term to rank for, actually. But everybody likes clients. So you call them up, you call them up, and what's going to happen is you're usually going to get to talk to what is called a gatekeeper. That's like a secretary or something. And obviously they're meant to turn you away when you call up wanting to sell shit to them. That's their job. That's what they call the gatekeeper. Okay, uh, so what you tell them is you say, hey, I noticed you are a Frisco rhinoplasty practice. And I rank number one in Google. If you type in Frisco rhinoplasty, I show up first. Now I have a problem. I'm not a rhinoplasty surgeon and there's a ton of people calling up looking to 
get rhinoplasty surgery done. Their customers are looking for a rhinoplasty surgeon. I don't have anywhere to send them. Would you like for me to send these clients to you guys and trying to find a business that wants them? I'm just calling every business and I'm just gonna give them to somebody. All right, so how do we make money doing that? Hold up, all right, we're talking to the gatekeeper, not the person who makes any decisions for the business. So at this point in time, the gatekeeper is gonna have to choose between hanging up on you and maybe losing their doctor a bunch of business or they can choose to giving you the benefit of the doubt, telling you to call back at five, six, seven, and then you talk to the surgeon, okay? It, it, it puts them kind of in a lose-lose situation and sometimes, usually, just telling you to call back later is the better idea for them because, hey, look, we just got us five new clients. It makes us look a little bit better, okay? A lot of people will go and try and use this tactic and they'll call up and start trying to sell to the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper doesn't know what the hell ranking in Google is, okay? If you're like, hey, miss, I do SEO and I build backlinks and I'm ranking high in Google, getting lots of search traffic, they'll be like, are you high? And you'd be like, probably. But uh, what you want to do at that point in time is you don't want to do that because that's going to turn off a gatekeeper. That's what she's, she or he is trained to go and knock out. So you approach it like that where you put the gatekeeper in a hard place. Is this the world's greatest sales pitch? No. Is this difficult to pull off? No. Okay. If you use this pitch right here, you will eventually get someone to say yes. And if you want to make money bad enough, this is as simple as it can be. Buying a $20 site domain, sitting a site on it, copying, pasting on there, waiting until it shows up in Google, and then renting out the site or selling the phone calls to local businesses. This is as easy as it gets. If you cannot do this, you have no business doing anything. You should go and cut people's lawns, uh, try and start a lawn mowing business, going door to door, uh, even though that's much harder than doing this. So what I want to do in this video is just lay out how easy this is. Uh, what I'm going to put right here on the right of the screen is two videos. One explaining how to set up a WordPress site. Uh, I'm going to put another video right here explaining the basics of SEO. This is already on our channel. And then I'm also going to link to another video that goes deeper into this tactic right here. Again, it's from another one of my businesses called SourceWave, but I go way deeper into this tactic if you're like an SEO and you've never seen anything like this before. So this is kind of video one in the series that I want to do. This is how easy it is. Go get a site. Go buy a domain name for 20 bucks. I believe that's how much it costs in here. Then go and put a site on top of it. Then go out, find suburbs, towns, whatever. Make pages for them on the site. Copy and paste an article. Get the keyword in the title and in the first word on the page. You can ask to put it as the last. It doesn't matter. You don't have to get this... 100% right for it to work. And then that's it. Then sell the site, sell the page, sell the phone calls, sell whatever you can to local businesses. This is a tried and true method. I know people that make hundreds of thousands of dollars a month selling leads to lawyers, uh, roof repair, water damage, surgeons, you name it. Uh, I've seen it done, especially with tactics similar to this. A lot of really pro SEOs, how they're making a lot of money right now, is they build massive directory style sites uh, with this tactic and then rank in like every town in the United States. Unfortunately for them, uh, they're, actually not fortunately for everyone, there's so many freaking types of businesses you can go do this for. Uh, it, it's just so damn easy to do. Like if you type in luxury landscaping Plano, this is just a person who like copycat me and you can see that they're showing up right there as well. You can see almost the same exact tactics right here. There you go. Same exact thing. So pretty dang simple. So with that being said, guys, that's what I have in the video today. If you like these types of video, be sure to subscribe below this video. Share it with your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your dad. Tell your kids. They don't know what you're talking about, but it's, it's good anyways. And uh, that's what I got. See you in the next video.